Hi guys, this is Faye from Face World Media. If you haven't heard of Fathom, it's time to check it out. In this video, I want to show you how Fathom works from downloading it all the way to onboarding. Now, these onboarding videos, they do come with, you know, the download process of Fathom. In fact, the founder has done a really good job of basically hijacking your test Zoom video and to show you exactly how it works. And he will actually walk through every single option. But if you're not there yet, if you have some reservations around like, how does this work? Why would I need a, a secondary recording tool? The reason is Fathom will help you record bits and pieces of your meetings and so much more. First of all, it will highlight certain spots of your meeting through a simple button that is plugged in and parallel to your Zoom meeting. It is literally right there, highly visible, very intuitive. You just need to try a couple of times to really get a good handle on that. You can highlight and bookmark segments of your Zoom meeting. And also you can transcribe and automatically transcribes your entire meeting. So if you want to find a highlights later on and just add them to your meeting summary, that's perfectly fine. You can integrate it with Zoom, but also uh, things like Slack. You can grab a segment of your meeting that's really meaningful and send that link to anyone who don't even have an account with Fathom. There's a lot of good things to say about this tool. I think first and foremost, one of the most important things as an entrepreneur myself is to develop not just new, but better habits. So instead of going back to my one, two hour Zoom meetings, especially when I'm presenting something or when I'm learning something from someone, it is just so much easier to capture that information and be my own note taker as opposed to open up, you know, notes and just write down notes. And I have to later on compare to the recording and have no idea what timestamps it's supposed to be attached to. So give it a shot, you know, Face World Media, this channel is all about introducing new tools and information for you to not just work harder, but work smarter. And it just, I don't want this to be such a cliche. I want to walk the walk and show you how I conduct my business. And I want to show you the learnings along the way. So guys, once you installed Fathom, you're going to be taken to this screen right here. So first you'll notice I'm on an iMac right now. And you'll notice that um, I have now installed Fathom. And what you do is you click on start a meeting. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it's going to prompt you to connect with Zoom. Now you do that and I'm going to just log in real quick to show you what happens next. It's really straightforward. You never have to take notes and go crazy again for all your Zoom meetings. So let's do that. Now I'm taken to this screen. You need to click this checkbox here to allow permission and access. So click on allow. Give it a moment. Now you're taken to this page. You can have different highlight options and you can also add more here. So you can adjust and revise this based on your business needs. There are some additional integrations as you can see here. It's already checked for Zoom. I just did that, but um, you can also connect, for instance, uh, Slack, Salesforce, and these are the recording options. So recommend is auto record all scheduled meetings. Uh, you know, you can have this turn on if you want and you'll get additional points as a result of this. And you can also auto record unscheduled meetings. So I'm going to keep that off. Here's another recommended option, auto request a recording consent. And Fathom collects recording consent from attendees of external calls in advance so you don't have to. Um, this is recommended again, you know, especially based on the nature of your business, think it through automatically send recordings to attendees. I wouldn't do that to be honest, because not all of them will need the option. I always tell people when I'm recording a session, I also tell them exactly what I'm going to use it for. Like internally, if it's private, that's really important. Also guys, once you start doing this more regularly with your team, with your partners, with certain clients, it's just going to get easier. Sometimes it's just the first time around people are like, I don't feel comfortable recording and make sure you turn it off. That's it. By the way, you do have options here with an invite code and you can earn up to 100 points per referral. There's some further customization options here. You can click on that and that's kind of, it's going to take you right back to this options right here. Um, you can start a test call. There's additional tutorials, FAQs. So let's do a test call. So let's open up Zoom here and you can see upper right hand corner. It's, this is a test call. Nobody's going to be joining it. And uh, so these are all tests and um, 
demos right here. And uh, how are you doing? I'm just kidding. I don't know what you're saying because I'm a recording. Uh, <laughs> this test call here is designed to help make you feel comfortable with using Fathom. And so let's jump into how to use Fathom while you're on a call. So let's imagine you and I are having a conversation. I'm one of your customers. Uh, and I say something that's particularly noteworthy or interesting. You may want to share it with your team. You may want to use it for your notes for later. Go ahead and click the big highlight button. Let's do so that. by clicking, you're telling Fathom, hey, this is an interesting part of the meeting. Fathom is going to highlight it, which means we're going to not only record and transcribe it, we're also going to like make it a shareable video clip and summarize it. And I'll show you that in a second. Now, normally when you're on a Zoom call, Fathom is smart and it'll listen for like when I stop talking, when you start talking and automatically end that highlight. But since this is kind of a you know fake environment where I'm just going to constantly be talking, not give you uh, a word in edgewise, go ahead and hit the end highlight button to go ahead and end this highlight. Great. So now that you've ended the highlight, you'll see that you're back to being able to be able to highlight something new. You also see now that it should say generating summary. So Fathom is now generating a summary of what was said during that highlight. It takes about 10 to 15 seconds to generate that summary. Now you can type a note there. You'll see that like you want to like put in a word or two to remember what that high was about. You can, but again, Fathom will also got your back and will automatically summarize that section for you. While we wait for the summary, uh, let's go ahead and click the little more uh, uh, underneath the highlight. And what you'll see when you click more is you'll see the kind of drawer expand. And there's a bunch more kind of annotation options at your fingertips with Fathom. Uh, mm -hmm. I want to call out a few of these. Go ahead and click on action item. So unlike highlight, which is trying to basically come up with a video clip, anytime you hear an action item, you can just click action item. Uh, go ahead and click bookmark. Works similarly. We're just going to tag that moment in time. And then again, use Fathom's kind of AI to summarize the action item that we heard or bookmark as part of the call. Bookmarks are interesting in that they are often used, you know, say I'm having a I have a call with an agenda and maybe I want to flag the beginning of each topic, right? Hey, we're going to start talking about topic X. Great. I might click a bookmark to, to mark the beginning of a back and forth conversation as opposed to a highlight, which may be just, you know, one specific answer that I want to want to capture. Um, and again, you'll notice that both of these will generate summaries. And then the last piece is you'll see a bunch of colored buttons below that. Those are basically customized highlights. Um, and so we've loaded you out with a few common ones we hear from folks, you know, to capture product feedback um, or being able to capture kind of positive moments that you want to share with the team. But you can click the customize button anytime and change those up so that they work for whatever your kind of workflow is. So that's basically it, right? So the idea is to get on the Fathom call, get Fathom into the call, get it to start recording. Uh, and whenever you hear something, instead of typing something out or writing something on it on Scratchpad, you just click a button and found them, that'll highlight it. So go ahead and now and click, basically end this call. And once you do, you'll be able to quickly jump into viewing the recording and I'll talk to you more about the recording page when we get onto that side. Now I'm left with is, I have some options here. It says onboarding. Uh, you can view the recording and it says how much I was talking, you know, monologuing and you can send feedback. Now, when you come back, however, to your Fathom dashboard, you should be able to see the latest recording. So there's a test call that was captured today. So here, you can click on that and now hear all your insights. You can continue the tutorial there, just like Richard said, so. Okay, welcome back. You're now what we call the call recording view. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff here, right? So obviously we have the video of the call you should, uh, we're on. Uh, we also have the transcript. You can kind of scroll and, through. Um, you also search you through to find keywords of important moments. And then on the whole right-hand side, we have all the good stuff, which is your annotations, your highlights, your action items, your bookmarks, will auto detect questions, a whole bunch of cool stuff that helps you kind of get to the right, the important parts of a meeting. Um, so a few things to call out here that I think uh, that are probably the most valuable pieces of this view. One is if you look at the annotations on the right, right? So we've seen the highlight that I asked you to create while we were on the call. If you go click on that, um, you can play directly that section. You can also edit the and if you enable the auto summary. Text, if you enable right? auto, so if you want to, maybe clean, clean it up and like, write a more concise version of it. Here's what this uh, portion of the call so is about. If you enable you auto, edit that text. See that you're One thing that gets used a lot is if you go over to your highlight and then look, you'll see like little three dots kind of menu to the right of it. If you go hover over that, you'll see the option to delete it, download it as an MP4, or get a share link. 
And the share links are really powerful. So if you're on a call and you hear something and you know there's this highlight and you want to share it with your team, you want to email it to your boss or drop it to a Slack channel, copy that share link and then just paste it in any of those places. Anyone, they don't have to be a Fathom user, can like watch that portion and only that portion of your call. Uh, other thing I call attention to is there's a button at the top that says copy summary. Uh, and if you hover over the icon, you can get the summary in either Google Doc format, Notion mm -hmm. format, Microsoft Word, uh, and Gmail. And so this is an automated summary of all your annotations for the call. Um, it's kind of like an auto-generate notes for the call. So that's very cool. Gotcha. Uh, one other thing to notice, you know, we may have, there may have been something on the call that was important that you wanted to bookmark or that you wanted to highlight, but you missed it. No worries. You can do that from here as well. So on the transcript view, off to the left, if you hover over any block in the transcript, you'll see a little plus icon. You hover over that, you'll see the opportunity to create any of those annotations that you could during the call, after the call. So again, if you miss something on the call, no worries, you can add it here. If you wanna change something, if you wanna change the length of the highlight, you can drag the ends of the highlight. Uh, you can delete highlights. So you have full control here. The idea with Fathom is we realize we want to use the tools to really when things that. are happening so you don't have to go back and do a bunch of work after the call, but you can also have full control after the call as well. Uh, last thing I'll leave you with, if you're using a CRM, uh, I highly recommend our CRM integrations. Uh, and so we've got integrations now with Salesforce, HubSpot, and closed CRMs. What that will do is when you have them enabled, and there should be a little icon prompting you to connect them, it will automatically log any meeting to the right contacts and opportunities and deals. Uh, and it will also take that summary, the same kind of summary you can get to put into Google Docs, and I'll get, put that summary into the content of those meetings in those CRMs. So this is, we find a really killer feature for folks that want to automate that post-call data entry. Uh, so that's Fathom. Um, if you have any questions about the product, how to use it at all, um, we have a whole team standing by, happy to answer any questions, happy to jump on a call with you. There's a little help uh, icon at the top. You can just type in your message. Anything that you, you have any questions about, we'd love to hear it, or any product feedback, we'd love to hear that too. We want to make this the best product you've ever used. So uh, thanks again for giving us a shot and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. All right. So that's pretty simple, guys. I mean, they really nailed the usage of this. So I hope you find this helpful, guys. And this is as full cycle as it gets. And check out Fathom. Really start to play around and see how you like it, how you can maybe even use it to create more micro content and more importantly, close more sales, understand your customer journey better, understand how you perform as a salesperson uh, running your business. Because as you guys know, and there is a way to measure you know, how much you're talking, for instance, and um, there's a lot of data here that you wouldn't otherwise have. Your performance, what you end up talking about, maybe even for product information or for your sales calls, you end up picking up nuggets that actually work really well um, with your customers, prospects, and, and learn from the experience. Please let me know in the comments below um, whether you like Fathom, how you're using it creatively or traditionally through Zoom or any other app that gives you this leverage and insights. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.